Sarah Seidel. He's in the barn. Call her out. <coughs> so, Red Perchin, how did the lessons go today? I think we made a good beginning. So, he's finally up. So what happened last night besides you blending like a peasant? Did you see Laser Wolf? What did he say? What did you say? Do you have news? Patience, woman! As the good book says, good news will stay, and bad news will refuse to leave. And there's another saying. You could die from such a man. Oh, Seidel, oh, my lamb. Come here, come here. Seidel. You ought to be congratulated. You're going to be married! Married? What do you mean, Papa? Laser Wolf has asked for your hand. I knew it! The butcher? My heart told me this was our lucky day. Oh, dear God, I thank thee. Oh, I thank thee. Uh, uh, what do you say, Zyla? What can she say? My firstborn of mine. May you grow old with them in fortune and honor. Not like that first wife of his, that Guma Sarah. Oh, she was a bitter woman. May she rest in peace. <laughs> Not like my cycle. Oh, I must go and thank it. My cycle, a, a bride. Oh. Mazeltov, Sido. You call that a Mazeltov? And, and you're a fair chick. Aren't you going to congratulate her? Congratulations, I on getting a rich man. Again with the rich. What's wrong with being rich? It's no reason to marry. Money is the world's curse. May the Lord smite me with it, and may I never recover! <laughs> Seidel knows I mean only her welfare. Am I right, Seidel? Yes, Papa. There, you see? I see. I see very well. Well, my child, why are you so silent? Aren't you happy with this blessing? Papa, Papa! What? What? Papa, I don't want to marry you. I can't marry you. I can't. What do you mean you can't? If I say you will, you will. <laughs> if it's a matter of money, I'll do anything. I'll hire myself out as a servant. I'll take ditches, I'll haul rocks, and please don't make me marry Papa, please. But, 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 what's wrong with Laser? He, he likes you. I will be unhappy with him. All my days I'll be unhappy. I'll take ditches, I'll haul rocks. But, 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 we made an agreement, and with us, an agreement is an agreement. That more important you than I am, Papa. Please, please don't be married, Papa. I'll be unhappy all of my days. All right, all right, all right, all right. I won't force you. Oh, thank you. Oh. Hey, well, it seems it was not ordained that you should have all the comforts of life, or that we should have a little joy in our old age after all our hard work. Reptavia, uh, may, may I speak to you? Later, Model, later. I, I would like to speak to you. Not now, Model. I have problems. That's what I've come to speak to you about. I, I think I can help. Certainly. Like a bandage can help a corpse? Goodbye, Model. Goodbye. Please listen to him, Papa. All right. You have a tongue. Talk. I, I hear you are arranging a match for Cycle. He also has ears. <laughs> I have a match for Cycle. What kind of a match? A, a, a perfect fit. Perfect fit. Uh, like a glove. Like a glove. <laughs> this, this match was made exactly to measure. Perfect fit. Made to measure. Stop talking like a tequila bottle and tell me who is it. Please don't shout at me. <laughs> right. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? It's me! <laughs> M myself. Him? Himself? I'm here completely out of your mind, or you must be crazy. He must be crazy? What are you? Everything? The bridegroom? The matchmaker? The guests? All rolled into one? I suppose you'll even perform the ceremony! You must be crazy! Please don't shout at me, Rev Tevye. As for being my own matchmaker, I know it's a little unusual. Unusual? It's crazy! Times are changing, Red Tevia. The thing is, your daughter Seidel and I gave each other a pledge over a year ago that we would marry. You gave each other a pledge? Yes, Papa. We gave each other a pledge. They gave each other a pledge. Unheard of, 
absurd. You gave each other a pledge, unthinkable. And where do you think you are? In Moscow, in Paris, where do they think they are? America? And what do you think you're doing? You stitcher, you nothing! Who do you think you are? King Solomon? This is the way it's done. Not here, not now. Some things I will not, I cannot allow. Tradition. Marriages must be arranged by the Papa. This should never be changed. One little time you pull out a drop, and where does it stop? Where does it stop? Where does it stop? Do I still have something to say about my daughter? Or doesn't anyone have to ask the father anymore? Uh, I, I've wanted to ask you for some time, Rev Tevia, but well, first, I, I wanted to save up enough money for my own sewing machine. Stop talking nonsense, Marshall! You're just a poor tailor! That's true, Rev Tevia. But even a poor tailor's entitled to some happiness. <laughs> I, I promise you, Red Tevia, your daughter will not starve. He's beginning to talk like a man. On the other hand, what kind of a match would that be with a poor tailor? On the other hand, he is an honest hard worker. On the other hand, he has absolutely nothing. And on the other hand, things cannot get worse for him. <laughs> they can only get better. They gave each other a pledge, unheard of, absurd. They gave each other a pledge, unthinkable. But look at my daughter's face. She wants him, she loves him. And look at my daughter's eyes. So hopeful. Tradition? Yeah. <laughs> Very well, children. When shall we make the wedding? Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Ray Tevia, you won't be sorry. You won't be sorry? I'm sorry already! <laughs> Thank you, Papa! <laughs>